are here in Ballarat for the International Photo Biennale. It's a photography show that is made up of multiple exhibitions all around the town. So we just drove up here early in the morning through rainy weather, and then it was sunny, then it was rainy again, and we um, grabbed some breakfast in a nice little cafe in Ballarat. I'm here with Matt, hey. who you might remember. What have you got there? Got an F3. Nikon F3. Yep. And I'm also with friends Ernest and Kylie. So, <laughs> guys, Hello. what's Ernest shooting with today? Contact 645. Contact 645. And with Super Expired. Kylie. Um, an Ulta X700. Nice. So, we thought it would be a good opportunity to come up for a bit of a road trip and do a lot of photography in a nice, sort of quiet town. Good change from the city and check out some photography exhibitions. There's a lot of people exhibiting work that's been shot on film from, from what I've heard and seen. So we'll update you soon. So we're just waiting for Matt to come back. We're having a bit of a break shortly before lunch. Um, yeah, bird crapped on his shoulder <laughs> and it landed on his camera strap. Bird be free. Right, yes. Yeah. Clean up. I All clean. All right, we're ready oh, to man. hit the yeah, residue. Real. No, you're you're really here. Here. You can see the residue. You can see the residue. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's a bit of residue, but <laughs> at least it didn't get on your camera. So yeah, yeah, yeah. just the strap. We're good. Uh, Alright, cool. we're going to the antique store. We're out here taking some portraits. Kylie just got a new camera. It's a Koa 6. So Koa 6. These are really similar to... Shout out to camera. Bill Poon. Who Shout out. Bought. Yeah. <laughs> I bought it off. <laughs> so it's a bit like a Hasselblad. And this is your first roll of film going through it. Yes. Now, yeah? Yes. It's pretty cool. How does it feel? Amazing. Really I love good. it. Yeah. Right. And uh, we've all just been taking some portraits of our volunteer model here. Hello, oh, Carmen. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hello. You've stolen uh, Ernest's contact 645. Yeah, it feels great. Nice, yeah. Nice planner lens on it. Mm, mm -hmm. Tasty. Oh, very um, very um, crispy. So Ernest is shooting an expired roll of Agfa 50 speed film that he, he got from Singapore. And I think he's rating it at 25 just to give it an extra stop. Um, I'm trying expired film too. It's actually Fuji Sensia 100. And I'm shooting that at 80 because it's about I think 12 years expired, so I finished my roll of 400H, loaded the slide film, and got a few shots so far. So we'll see how that comes out. Hey guys, Kylie laugh. Kylie laugh. <laughs> how many shots left? We're up to number nine. Nine shots taken, and you've got 12 because it's square format. Everyone else cool. needs a portrait. You want to get a shot? Yeah.
Alright, so the sun has almost set now. We've checked out a few exhibitions and we um, just came out of a spot where we ran into this guy, Andrew, who is really cool. He showed us some of his photography um, because he saw us outside taking portraits and he noticed our film cameras. Um, and he, he was immediately like, oh, you know, who's Pentax 6 7 and um, contacts is that? And he started getting really into it and showing, you know, talking about photography and he's really amazed that we're shooting film. So that was nice um, having a conversation with him. His name's uh, Andrew Gash, wasn't it? That's and um, I'll include some of that footage uh, over this so you can check out his work if you want. So we're just going to head to Lake Wendery to catch the sunset before we head home. So it's a really nice sunset here at the lake, pink skies, a uh, few of us have finished some rolls of film so I've still got a shot left on the 6.7 shooting Pan F50 with the yellow filter, it's one of my favourite black and white films so I'll develop that and show you some of these shots after the end of this episode and I'll see if any other guys develop their film in time and put together a nice showreel. So, Hope you enjoyed our little vlog. Definitely recommend coming to the Ballarat Photo Biennale if you get time, if you're here in Melbourne, and check out some really cool exhibits. All right, bye.